Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 37, and this is war number six. Halfway there. And looks like we're going up against an alliance called Mass and Class. Let's see who they've banned. All right, Quake, Kingpin, and Ghost. All right. Let's see what they got in store for us. Do a little spectating before we go in. All right. Oh, okay. So, Yellow Jacket. Interesting. Oh, boy. He didn't wait for me to put on uh, the pre-fights or anything. Hmm. All right. Anyway, Yellow Jacket, Silver Centurion... Uh, I don't see any reason Namor can't handle these fights. All right. Okay. And then we've got... Uh, let's see. Vigorous Assault. That is such an annoying node. I'm trying to think. Um, Nick Fury can do that fight, I think. And so can Claire. I think I'd rather have Claire in there. And then we've got a Nimrod up here. So if I bring Nebula, I can do that fight as well. And then this path here in section two. Oh boy. I'm not the best with fighting this this one here. Thirsty. Uh, hmm. That could be annoying. We'll just we'll, we'll do it. See what we can do. Yeah, extra glancing, huh? Kind of want to bring in uh, Nick Fury for that fight. Can't cover everybody, looks like. Claire, I need Namor for this one. Claire can take this one. And if I want to take that fight, which I really need to be taking, uh, I'll have to bring Nebula. So it'll be Nick Fury or Claire. If you guys saw the last uh, war, poor Nick Fury got toe up. The only thing that worries me here is this bleed debuff. So I could tear Nick up. I, I know it's probably not a really powerful one. That enhanced bleed makes it even more powerful. I don't want to chance it, so... Claire, I guess Nebula could also do that fight. She's bleed immune. Yeah, I think Nebula could do that fight too. Hmm. All right. Uh, Namor is a definite. Nebula, I'm I'm looking at this, and that looks like a definite. Because I think she can handle uh, these fights as well. So Claire, Claire or Nick Fury, and I like Claire for this fight here with Vision Arcus. So Claire, Nebula, and Namor. And then we'll just deal with these. This is the only fight I'm really concerned with, which means I'll probably get wrecked with something else. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, so we're going in with Namor, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, and Nebula. Uh, pretty much my standard team these days, unless I see somebody on the path that requires another uh, different counter. Uh, first fight is going to be against Yellow Jacket. Now, Yellow Jacket has a history. 
He's an old champion. He's gone through a rework. I remember when his specials were all very easy to evade. They made a change. He became much better than he was. And that special one became very difficult to evade if you're up close. If you're far away, you can evade it. Um, also, if you go up against him with a Mystic, which I don't advise you do, his Power Sting will go on them, even if you're blocking. Because the Power Sting will activate, you know, or apply first without contact. Anybody else? You can block it and you won't get the power sting, but not miss it. All right. So you can see here, I'm just wrecking him, you know, and see this, that is easy to evade. I don't mind if I push him to a special two, I will stay in his face and I won't have any problems. But that special one, I want to stay back a little bit. Do not finish your combo. If he's, if you're about to push him to a special one, don't finish your combo. Hit him with like a four hit combo and then dash back and be ready to dash back again if he fires his special. So he's pretty straightforward and easy. Um, I don't fight uh, Silver Centurion a whole lot, but with the Namor cheese on this path, it's not really that bad. Look at the damage. You know, for some reason, when I am evading or getting ready to evade his heavy, I always expect that heavy to have another part to it. It always catches me and, and sometimes I'll, I'll go in late because of that. So he'll fire the heavy off and I'm like, okay. And then I'll dash in late. Um, but in any case, as you can see here, we're doing just fine. Not really having any issues. And then he parries me. I'm like, really? Really? Okay, just had to get that last lick in because I was whooping his butt all during the match. And then he got a parry. All right, but anyway. And then I looked up here and I saw that uh, my alliance mate had a little problem with that man thing. If you guys remember uh, in past seasons, we had issues with man thing on this node. But... The node is different now. And the solution that we had before was I would bring in white mags and then uh, apply the uh, pre-fight. But with the nodes that are different now, I need Namor. And then I need someone for my path and usually somebody for one of the um, minis. So I don't usually have any room to bring in a white mags so um my alliance mate usually was the one to take out those um man things on that node but i saw he was having a problem so i jumped in to help all right wasn't dealing with that as usual uh so now we can move on and if you guys remember we got wrecked riggedy riggedy wrecked in the last one uh, against uh, Omega Red, or Omega Sentinel rather, on that node. But like I said, uh, we've got an option. Basically, my alliance mate uses Red Guardian. No buffs, and let me see, the first time he went in against him, well, we'll, we'll talk about that later when, it, when, the, uh, when I'm actually doing that war. But he got better and was able to solo Omega Sentinel. So we went from getting riggedy wrecked to being able to solo it. So we learned. We learned. Now, I don't like fighting Cersei. She is really annoying to fight. Okay. Uh, very good defender. Uh, I, I can see why people rank her up for Battlegrounds. But ugh, she is so annoying. So I'm going to be trying something that would avoid all of the um, glancing, which is just the standard nebula fight, you know, a nebula style. Okay. And you can see I'm just hitting it because I don't like being in that corner. I really don't. Okay. 
and evading her heavy is pretty easy but when you're trying to build up your shock charges ugh. okay here we go boom put the shock on him and i paused a little bit afterwards and then boom power drain and a block didn't take her all the way out so now i'm building it up again but that's pretty much how i want to do this fight because like i said she's annoying okay and i probably have enough at this point uh to finish her off but there we go mm, boom 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 now that didn't finish her and i was like wait a minute what just happened that should have finished her but it's Cersei. So here I am doing it again. And this one was unblockable. And I'm like, what? And then I'm stunned. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I was like, I'm so happy Nebula had those uh, heals. And look at that. See, it just, bam, it stopped. All right. We finished her off. It was annoying. Like I said, she is so annoying to me. I don't know all of her um, abilities. So she still tends to surprise me every once in a while. Very annoying. So now we've got Hulk Buster. Now Hulk Buster, he likes to put shocks and all that good stuff. And you can see the shock abilities are 40% more effective. Well, of course, I'm going to go in with Nebula because she doesn't care about shock. So I'm just like, okay, and she can put a shock on him. So I'm like, yeah, definitely Nebula. So same Nebula style. Okay. And I'm not too worried. Now, one thing that you have to be careful about with Hulkbuster, if you are blocking, he will break your block, stun you, and the fight will be over because he'll kill you. All right. Um, but you may notice, you may have noticed that I got a lot of shocks quickly. It's because when he put that shock on me, it sped it up. So she loves getting shocks. And since he likes to put shocks on her, perfect. Look at that. Boom. Now I was expecting that to kill him right off, but yeah. It is what it is, but we got him down. So Nebula, she continually, continually impresses me with how many fights she can do. And of course, we've got Nimrod up here. And you know, nobody's touching that Nimrod except me. Ever since I brought her in, I believe I have um, taken him out every time, I think. Maybe the first time I tried it, I wasn't used to it, maybe. But I've soloed him, like, pretty much every time after... Put it this way, after the first solo, it's always been solos. All right. So, I just wanted to make sure she was topped up. I didn't want to die, because that would be embarrassing. And we're just doing what we do. Build up, build up. I can evade his special, his uh, heavy attack, even against the wall, so I'm not too worried. But I will push him back because, again, I don't like being in that corner. I'm just aggressive. I'm an aggressive fighter. And this, to me, is more passive. Okay? So here, I was waiting for him to do that so I could go in and build up a little bit. I wanted to build up uh, my power bar. So I'm just taking all those blocked hits, trying to get close to a special two. There we go. And almost, I just went in a little too soon. Okay, and the fight would have been over at this point, but I messed up and I wasn't quite at the special two. I should have hit him a bit more before doing that. But it is what it is. And I figure this one will take him out, even if I don't, uh, uh, get the special two. So I just gotta get him to charge me properly. Boom. There we go. Shot. And then I'm just gonna hit him, hit him, hit him. And he's down. Have not lost a match to him in a long time. 
Nebula is the GOAT for fighting Nimrod. Um, especially on that node, but really uh, everywhere that I've seen her fight Nimrod. She seems to be really good, uh, a really good counter. I need to add her to my deck for BG. Uh, but anyway, that's it for my participation. We'll be back in a minute, and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back, and unfortunately, we lost this war. It was a very close war, as you can see. Very, very close. We just had a few too many deaths. That's why I did not want to be one that died, and I made sure to top her up so that I wasn't contributing because it was a very close war. But it is what it is. All right, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.